Hi, I'm Claude Yakla, a graphic designer and social media manager. Today, I will show you two pieces of art. First is this design, which I made use of a woman's sketch. So as you can see, I also made use of pictures and paints. So first, I looked for a woman's sketch, then put it in an empty template. This is actually a Facebook post template. And then look for the paint or watercolor element. And then look for another one. And this is the one I chose. Then just assemble it in a way that it will be congruent to whatever you want for as the color of the woman that you are creating. Just adjust the paint and then look for some more colorful watercolor paint. You can either use a picture or a graphic. Just duplicate this one, then adjust. I have actually placed uh, the other elements on the back of the woman's sketch so that uh, the sketch will be above the other elements. And then the last one is the paint which is color red which I will be putting in the lips. And then the background is actually a picture of a watercolor also. So after fixing, we put the background, set it as a background. And then, if you are done with your art, you can add your signature by putting a text on it. And then you can also actually change the color of the text into whatever color you want. So that's it. That's the output. Then you can put it into a mock-up like this one, a wall art. Now I'll show you another image. With the next image, I'll be using my mobile phone to show you how I designed it. Still making use of a woman's sketch. Then we look for paint elements. And then we put it in the face to color the woman's image we look for several paint images and then we look for a circular blue element to serve as just like a turban and then put it at the back and then we look for gold uh, we add one more circular paint element and then we look for gold dust this one is a picture we put it at the background or set it set it as a background and then one last is a circular gold dust we put it at the back to also beautify the image and then one last paint we put at the neck part of the image and that's it you can put it in a mock up as well. Let me show you what am I talking about a mock up. So you just search in a browser smart mock up and then you will look for print then frames and then I'm going to show you uh, where that uh, image I made use of in the first work of art I made so this is the one oh I already passed through it <laughs> so I made use of the one with the couch this one so you just have to upload the image that you want to put in that frame and then edit to fit the image and then you can download so you can post it in any social media accounts you have 
either Facebook or Instagram. Then, we go to the next one which I made use. It's a frame. Uh, I made use of that one actually. I made use of two actually. But this one is the one I showed you earlier. So same thing, upload the image and then edit and then stretch. So that's how to make use of smart mockups. So that's it. I hope you learned something for today about how to create the image and how to put the images into smart mockups. You can try it now. If you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe for more tips. Thank you! I'll see you then on my next videos. Bye-bye!